Hey everybody, Chief Meteorologist Brad Panovich here. It's Saturday. We've got a lot of outdoor activities going on. So let's get right to the forecast so you can plan around these storms. First thing you're going to notice when you look at the map today is that we don't have an all day rain. So like right now I'm recording this at around 1030 AM. Hasn't rained at all this morning. We've got cloud cover. There are storms back to the west. So let me show you what's happening right now. The fact that we have clouds right now is actually a good thing. This is helping deter what we call cape or thunderstorm fuel. So the longer that these clouds kind of hang on, the better the chance that the storms are going to be delayed a little bit this afternoon. They're going to wait to form until the forcing from this front gets closer and the upper trough. So it's got to get closer. And that doesn't happen until later tonight. So there is some time before the storm chances ramp up. Now, I will give you a word of caution. If the sun breaks out here sometime around lunchtime, as soon as the sun comes out, we will see storms begin to bubble up fairly quickly out there because the atmosphere is pretty ripe for storms to get going. It just needs the fuel to get going out there. Let me quickly show you the severe weather outlook today. Um, I just want to highlight it real quickly. Low risk, there's this little ribbon of medium. I think that's a little overdone. This isn't a huge severe weather risk. This is more of a lightning, heavy rain, brief gusty winds, kind of a typical summer storm, just a lot of that out there, not a typical spring-like setup. You see tomorrow that risk begins to shift off to the east. So let's get right to future cast. All right, let's go right to the future cast. So this is at 10 a.m. this morning. Basically, as I'm recording this, we'll go, I'm gonna stop this around one o'clock, 1245 technically. Um, you could see some of the first showers develop, but I think the clouds will delay this probably at least another hour or so. So it's really gonna be closer to two or three. And even then, the showers are really scattered. So look at the clock. This is around 240. Um, there's rain here, but scattered showers and storms here. The main line is still back to the west. So yeah, there's gonna be rain today, but the real rough stuff you'll see as we go through time, this is 3.30, we get to 4.30. Yeah, now we're starting to see a couple stronger cells, so about 4 o'clock. If to me, 5 o'clock is when I think things will ramp up. So if you have anything planned pre-5 o'clock, I can't rule out a shower, but nothing really particularly heavy or long-lasting. It's once 5 o'clock hits that we start to see the heavier storms develop, and that's wave number one. So around 5 o'clock, um, that moves through. There could be a little bit of a lull in the activity, until the main front gets here. You can see how this gets more active and because the sun will likely be out here. So this thing could actually flare up as it pushes to the east. But look at the next wave of rain coming in later tonight. So this is nine o'clock, by the way, right now, looking at the map, we go to 10 o'clock. You know, late tonight is when things ramp up. This is when the front arrives. So the heaviest rain chances actually are probably gonna arrive after 10 o'clock. So if this thing slows down a little bit more or the clouds hang on a little bit more, that little difference could push things back just far enough that most of your daylight plans could end up being halfway decent. I would definitely have a rain plan and have a place to go. This is midnight, by the way, look at this. This is the most widespread rain, probably thunder, but mostly heavy rain moving through the area. So midnight things really crank up and you can see in the overnight hours, the rain is pushing through. And then by the time it gets that Sunday morning, everything's east to here and Sunday during the day looks pretty good. So Sunday's gonna be just fine. It's going to be Saturday night tonight that we have the biggest issues. I'll loop this one more time. This is a 48 hour loop, by the way. You see the waves of rain coming and going pretty quickly. Let's quickly look at the rainfall amounts. I always like to show you the amounts. Not everyone's gonna get clobbered with this. Um, you can see if you're in those heavier bands of storms, there could be an inch, maybe two inches of rain, but look in between, there's a lot of areas that don't see much of anything. But as we go into the overnight hours, you can see most everybody should at least get some rain, but it won't be this widespread, everybody gets soaked kind of setup. Let me quickly show you the lightning risk, and I'm going to specifically focus on the Charlotte area. Okay, so for the concerts, Kendrick Lamar, Love and Life Music Festival, they're going to go on if it rains. They're not going to continue if there's lightning. There will be delays for safety reasons. So this is our lightning forecast, basically lightning flash density based off the short range rapid refresh model. We'll quickly go through time. Um, this is two o'clock this afternoon, three o'clock, four o'clock, five o'clock. Notice five o'clock, we get some lightning in the area, possibly six o'clock, same thing, you're uptown. I zoomed in, so this is Mecklenburg County. Charlotte is right in the middle of the screen. Six o'clock, seven o'clock, eight o'clock, okay? It might be raining, but the lightning threat might shift off to the east. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 1 a.m., 2 a.m. So notice that the lightning risk peaks about right here, five, six o'clock p.m., maybe seven, and then the lightning threat could go out even though the rain is gonna stick around. So that's something to keep in mind. Lightning is what is going to delay 
Kendrick Lamar or Love and Life or any other outdoor activity where rain is fine, it's not the greatest thing to stand in. That's why you bring your poncho, but the lightning risk could move through fairly quickly as the rain moves through. I'll post updates throughout the afternoon. My best advice to you right now is have a rain plan right now. Make sure you bring your poncho for these outdoor events, have your phone fully charged, and make sure you have a place to go seek shelter from a thunderstorm if one pops up and ride it out until it passes.